Well, that's a wrap on day two here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, live for the first time in three years. And we learned a lot today, including the fact that half of us plan to do at least some of our work from home post-pandemic. The biggest change is around 50% of employees will continue to work remotely um, at least part of the time. And actually about 10% are expected to be completely virtual, um, meaning full time out of the office. So uh, it means that we have to adjust uh, both at home and, uh, and enterprises have to adjust how they work. We also learned that enterprises are getting in on the microwave transport side of the equation too. It's not just for CSPs, they're building out vast campuses and they need that kind of technology. And it turns out Nokia has the most powerful microwave transport in the world today. 37 dBm, I don't, there are no other products in the market with this capability, with this power, and you can reach 40 kilometers with 10 gigabit of bandwidth. So it's an amazing result, it's the effort of uh, many years of development and we're really so proud this will help to connect remote site with high bandwidth. Nokia and Salesforce are a force to be reckoned with here at Mobile World Congress. They've teamed up because we now have moved from 5G rollout to monetization. Many of the pain points relate to the fact that many of the telcos existing IT systems, their so-called OSS and BSS, are very much focused on supporting older generation connectivity solutions and they are just not agile enough to handle the demands of new generation 5G services. So a lot of the focus right now is how to uh, re-engineer business processes and the whole customer experience to support leading edge 5G. And while so much of the focus of Mobile World Congress has been on 5G, Nokia is already thinking about the future and 6G. The standardization will begin in 2025. We will have the early prototypes in late this decade. The first launch is expected 2030. A lot of work to be done until then. A lot of research. Bell Labs started research 18 months ago already. Because while 6G will be an evolution, the technology required to get there will need to be a revolution. For those videos and more, be sure to go to Nokia.com slash no boundaries. I'm Michael Hainsworth at Mobile World Congress 2022. Join us for day three tomorrow.